thanks again for joining me at the cabin for another video. I just want to say that I know that there hasn't been a whole lot of videos lately. I believe I missed a week or two. Um, but there has been some heavy, heavy rainstorms here. And there's a whole lot of damage pretty much everywhere around the area. Here it's not bad. There's a couple trees that have fallen. Uh, some of my trails are blocked. But today I could actually come to the cabin with my ATV. The good old four-wheeler actually made it. So the water in the swamp went down quite a lot. Uh, that means that all the bug eggs and everything uh, stopped flooding out. So the, buds, the bugs and mosquitoes are coming out slowly but surely. Guaranteed next week there will be a whole lot more bugs. But I just wanted to say that I know I missed a few videos. So sorry for that. But the weather conditions really weren't good for filming and living either. <laughs> they were actually pretty dangerous. Uh, really, really bad storms. So let's get the video started.
nice clean trail and some good firewood for next winter. After cooling off in the cabin and eating my little cinnamon roll snack, I'll head outside and I think I'll get some caulking just to repair a few little mouse holes that they did. I did put some uh, yellow insulation foam so I don't really like how it looks. So now I guess it's hot enough. It's about 22, 25 outside in the sun. It is very, very hot. The hottest day of the year, I think, so far. Uh, in the sun, it is very hot. Like I said in the cabin, it's actually quite cool. So, I'll get to work in the cabin while I have some power. Because my power generator isn't here anymore, I needed it for emergency situations. Uh, at home, since we had some severe power outages. So, I'm running off my little solar panel now and my one battery. So I'll take advantage of the power that I have to fill up some holes. Looks good as far as you guys can see, but uh, yeah, it looks good from far, but far from good. Uh, the point is here not to do a good job, is to smash it in the cracks and make it look like mud or natural chinking. Because I use a different product, obviously, I wouldn't mind to last, I don't want to touch it up every year or so. Obviously, mouse holes are an exception, and squirrels are really a pain. So, when they make a hole, I'll patch it up. But that's about all I do. So, for the people wondering, this is what I use. I'll, uh, there we go. Which side is this on? Uh, there we go. I'll zoom in here, if possible. But yeah, uh, I know there's some reflection on there. You can see it in the camera. Mm, there we go. Yeah, so it's just, color is brown. That's what I use. I know I have a whole bunch of new subscribers and followers and they always ask me I get probably about one comment a week on just random videos would you use for chinking so if any of you new guys are looking at this video I use something along these lines that's not exactly what I use for the entire cabin just because uh, this now is around ten dollars a tube and as well, you guys see this is empty here. It doesn't it's empty. There's nothing in it. 
and I did around the window, around the windowsill, around the window, and a little bit on the floor. And I used up two because I like to put a whole lot to really make it hard like cement. So, uh, yeah, $10 a tube for a window and a little bit more. Back in the day, pre-COVID, I believe 2017 is when I started building this cabin. Or 18, I think 19, maybe, I don't know. But this was $2.72 for a tube. Now it is $10. The color on the cap itself doesn't really match the cabin. I don't care. This is a little bit lighter brown. What I'm trying to say is the cap matches the old color of the <coughs> tube that I used. But the inside of it, if I could zoom in on here, the camera just wants to focus on me. But you guys could see here, if I do this, maybe. Yeah, the, the tip of it where this product is a little bit uh, matte in color and lighter brown. Uh, so yeah, this remains a little bit more flexible. What I used before... Uh, is it's like here i know there's some i also put insulation here here's a little bit thinner here it, it's very hard i don't know if you guys hear that or not this remains always a little bit flexible it's hard if you put thick enough it's gonna harden up keep in mind this for windows and like showers and stuff so yeah great for water uh, if mice or squirrels want to get through they could uh, I, what I could have done better is just put chicken wire all around or steel screening. Didn't really have the budget, not like I do now. And I don't feel like redoing the entire cabin. But I've seen mice, I think, or maybe even a squirrel, chew right through a log. So I'm really, really just... If they want to go through the chinking, they'll go through it. They also ch chewed through steel. So, yeah, nothing really impresses me anymore. But yeah, so this is the product I use, Dynaflex 230, because that's what's available after COVID.